How's it going out there, everyone? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to another exciting installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. We're on episode 3 here today, guys. Glad to have you back. And I'm excited to see what kind of shenanigans we're going to be getting into today. We're here again with Claude, our main character, and we're going to be taking some more missions from Joey Leone, it looks like. Also, as an aside, a bunch of you guys were nice enough to let me know that that phone ringing in the background, even though it remains unmarked on our minimap, is actually a series of missions that I can complete. So what I've decided is that because they're not main story missions, I'm not going to go ahead and do them right away. However, I will come back to them at some point to complete them. So definitely stay tuned for that in the very near future. However, why don't we go ahead and jump right into the first mission of the day, Von Heist. Oh wait, Van Heist. I was saying that like it was some guy's name. My name is Alfred Von Heist III, oh, Duke of Nottingham. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now I won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. I super glued my mouth shut. Do you have something I can get it on stock with? Whenever I picture Claude, I just think of that scene in The Matrix when Neo has his mouth, like, melded shut by the agents. Anyway, sounds like the name of the mission was very apropos. Uh, yeah, by the way, I stole a police car. Hot diggity damn. But from the sound of it, it looks like we're gonna be knocking off a security van. Shouldn't be too difficult. You know, you know, just an average day in the life of Claude Speed. Well, it didn't take long to catch up to it. Okay, so I'm guessing as soon as we ram into it, they're gonna be a little more aware that we're after them. Oh, we're gonna get a wanted level automatically. That's swell. See, what I should have tried, I should have tried turning on my police siren to see if I could get them to pull over. That would have been so baller if I could have just passed the mission that way. That's actually something that I was really digging in the uh, new gameplay video that got released for Grand Theft Auto V a couple days ago. They showed the one heist that you did at like a jewelry store, I think, and you kind of had two different options for how you wanted to do it. You could kind of go in guns blazing, I think they called it the stupid way, or you could try and infiltrate it, pretend you're like bug exterminators, and then while no one's there, rob the place blind. Which, you know, it adds to the replayability so much that you can use these different tactics to complete the same mission. And I guess it really comes down to how well you want to plan out your movements in advance. But damn, okay, already got a two-star wand level. Hopefully this thing is as bulletproof as they claim, and once we get into it, we'll be pretty safe. But come on, buddy, you gotta get out of there. Claude Speed needs to make his paper. You'd think the guys driving this van would be armed with something, some kind of weapon, if it really is that important for them to be protecting it. Oh god! Wow, Liberty City PD is actually on the case pretty quickly there. Alright, looks like we can go ahead and hop in though. Let's be quick, I don't want to get busted again. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, Joey Wheeler, we got your van. God, that just reminds me of watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge back in middle school. I think that was the thing that really got me into YouTube. Or not YouTube so much, but like watching online videos and that kind of thing and wanting to make my own sort of videos even though these are in no way at all related to the Abridged series. Um, that's just kind of like what got me to delve deeper into internet land. I remember some of the funniest stuff from the first couple episodes of that. I mean, I mean, everyone knows the quotes already. My voice gives me super strength! Chocolate super awesome super card, go! Screw the rules, I have money! Me and my friends would quote that shit all the time. I don't know, happy days, guys, happy days. But, uh, alright, we dropped off the vehicle. And I love that whenever you complete a mission in the Grand Theft Auto series, you just automatically lose your wanted level. It's like even though you committed this really heinous crime, the authorities just give up entirely on ever getting you. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to Joey's place. Looks like we're gonna get Paige here. El Burrow wants to offer you an opportunity. Gets to the payphone in Hepburn Heights if you want more info. Okay, I don't know who El Burrow is, but he better not be paying me in pesos or something like that. The exchange rate is horrible. But, okay, I'm going to ignore that for now. Let's go ahead and do Cipriani Chauffeur. She purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. All right, listen, this guy, he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Oh my yeah, god, Tony Cipriani, Cipriani got fat. Take him to Mama's restaurant in St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? All right, sounds like a plan to me, but what are we doing right now? Drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. 
I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heat. So no fancy crap, okay? Oh, but doing fancy crap is my specialty. Oh yeah, so guys, if you don't already know, Tony Cipriani, the main protagonist of Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories on the PSP. Um, pretty cool seeing him. I've actually completed Liberty City Stories before I beat that game. So, kind of weird, because it's sort of a prequel to this game, I think. So, chronologically, I've completed them in the correct order. But, um, in terms of their release date, Grand Theft Auto 3 came out a long time before Wait, Liberty City Stories ever did. So, it's kind of interesting that I've never beat this game, yet I've beat Liberty City Stories before. I imagine there are probably a ton of cameos and references of that game that just went over my head because I didn't understand what they were talking about. Oh, Chinese laundry mat, ping ping hun ching kwa. Oh, you'll be a sorry you ever fucker with me. Seriously, what are these guys talking about in there? Oh, shit! Damn, Tony, get out of there. Can't have you dying on me, man. Crap. Okay, well, that did not go nearly as according to plan. You gotta shake off the rust there, Tony. You used to be a badass mobster when I was playing, is you? What happened, man? Who the hell goes to that kind of showdown with a baseball bat anyway? But damn, okay, I hope the Leones aren't too pissed about that. But yeah, so actually I have some familiarity with this game just because it's the same city as in Liberty City Stories, so I know my way around kind of. Um, I have a very vague memory of how to get to certain locations, but storyline-wise, it's all topsy-turvy for me. Oh shit, okay. Well, I'm guessing we probably have Tony unlocked as a contact now. Um, but I think I want to go back and check in with Joey Leone first before we do any of Tony's missions. Just because he mentioned something about a bank heist, and I'd really like to go do that. Okay, we're getting another message, too. The Uzi is now in stock. Cool, okay. Well, that's actually really good to know. I could actually use some Uzi ammo. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother going to get some right now, but I'll make sure to do that in between this and the next episode. Also, I'm noticing there is a phone icon on our map now, so does it actually get marked, or are there actually two different people that we take phone call missions from? Oh, that's confusing. Alright, dead skunk in the beautiful. trunk. Just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. Alright, there's a car stuffed with a stiff. Oh, I'd love to stuff Misty Callahan with my point. stiff. One of the Ow. He thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, alright? Oh, wow, we're actually going to crush the body? That's brutal. Okie dokie. It actually reminds me, I saw this movie on TV the other day. Um, it was called Hesher. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I think it was like an indie film or something like that, because I've honestly never heard of it before. But um, it was kind of cool. It caught my eye because as I was scrolling through the TV guide, um, I noticed that the movie's title screen was the same font as the font that Metallica uses for all their albums. And so me being a big Metallica fan, I thought it was going to be like a documentary on them or something like that. I had no idea why they would name it Hesher, but that's what I assumed. And so I turned it on, and instead it ended up being this really, really funny kind of... Kind of like a stoner movie, a little bit. But it was unbelievably hilarious, and yet at times it was actually kind of tragic. There was a lot of stuff in the movie that happened that was kind of a little painful to watch. But, um, okay, let's go ahead and get this to the Crusher. But yeah, I totally recommend you guys check it out. Um, there's a lot of, like, really graphic content in that, but then again, if you're watching a game like this, like Grand Theft Auto, then it's nothing you haven't seen before. But, um, you know, Hesher, H-E-S-H-E-R, I think. Um, it was a pretty cool movie. Oh, and I came to find out that the reason why the movie's logo was in the Metallica font was because the main character, Hesher, he um, was a really big heavy metal fan, and so they used a lot of Metallica songs in the soundtrack and some other kind of like thrash metal songs. So it was kind of cool. Anyway, do we specifically have to crush the guy? Oh god, I just noticed there's like blood in the back of the car trunk. That's kind of cool. I love when games like this put little details like that. It just makes the immersion that much better. But um, I wonder if we could just blow up the damn car. Would it really make that much of a difference? Oh, well, I kind of want to see the Crusher. It's kind of cool that they have something like this in the game. I wonder if you could, like... Because I know sometimes when you take cars, if there's a passenger in the car, if you drive away quickly enough, they don't have time to get out of the car, and they just stay locked in with you. So I wonder if you could take them to this Crusher, and... Oh, God, that's just brutal. Oh, man, this is actually really awesome. I bet there's tons of fun ways you could do stuff with this. Like, I wonder what would happen if 
you jumped onto the hood of the car as it was picking it up, if, like, it would carry you up with it. Oh, God, that would just be so... I wish I had done that now. All right, so mission complete, I take it. All right, cool beans. Wow, whole lot of money for that. Um, let's see... Oh, is that the last Joey Leone mission? I thought he mentioned something about a bank heist. Okay, maybe that's not the case. Um, if that is true, then I guess the next person I'm going to go hit up is Tony Cipriani. Actually, wait, what am I talking about? There's actually... I think I can see the J icon behind the T. I don't know, the minimap is kind of arranged really tightly. It's have, I'm having a hard time seeing who's actually left. I think I can do another Joey Leone mission. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here and take this sports car, though. Uh... Well, crap, I'm out of ammo. I guess I can't just punch the wall down. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I want to take a nice sports car with me, but I'll take this old beat-up jalopy instead. And... Oh, crap, there's a car alarm. I forgot that this series had those. Okay, anyway, on to Joey Leone again. Um, but actually, yeah, I'm still thinking about that car crusher thing. It actually reminds me of this scene in the movie Saw 5. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Saw franchise. It's probably my favorite horror movie series of all time for a great many reasons, but first and foremost, the traps are just so amazing to me. I remember every year a new Saw movie would come out, and I'd be so excited to see what new traps they came up with. Um, if you guys have never seen a Saw movie before, basically the concept is that there's this guy, the Jigsaw Killer, and he... Oh my god. Rude. I was just trying to take your car, sir. Get out of my face. Oh, now you want a fist fight? Really? Let's get out of here. Um, it's like I was saying, the main plot behind Saw is that there's this guy, the Jigsaw Killer, and he creates these really ingenious traps that test a person's will to live. Like, say they're a drug addict or something like that. Um, one of the traps is that he threw a drug addict into a pit full of used syringes with a key at the bottom that they needed to dig out. Um... That's really it at a glance. Okay, I have to come back later, apparently. Um, if that happens to you guys, if you have to take a mission at a certain time of day, you can go to your safe house and advance time forward by saving your game. So um, I'm just going to do that real quickly off screen, and I'll rejoin you guys in a second. Alright, I'm back, guys. We should be good to go now. I think we're in the right time frame, so let's go ahead and hop on out and see what the next mission is. The getaway. Okay, this must be the heist thing. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? Yeah, but I bet Misty's right. an even better ride. Get some Ow. Get to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before 5 o'clock, not a minute after. Does it really matter what time of day we rob the bank? Is that really integral to the mission? Like, why would they even care? But we got plenty of time. We can get there before 5 o'clock. No worries, no worries. But yeah, like I was mentioning before, Saw movies, just absolutely awesome. If you guys have never watched them and you're a fan of horror movies, then definitely check them out. Um, I imagine that if you do like horror movies, you've at least tried watching them. Honestly, the first Saw is by far the best in the series, and it kind of gets you hooked. And even though none of the other Saw films after it ever quite live up to the first one, at least in my opinion, you kind of get addicted to them, just to see the new traps and all that kind of thing. But alright, let's do this thing. They ain't sardines. Oh, great. This crap again? Really? Alright. You know what? I see a taxi cab right there. I don't think a bank heist has ever been successfully completed with a taxi cab. Actually, I take that back. The, uh, the Malibu Club heist that you do in Vice City, I think that you have to do that with a taxi cab. So, let's go ahead and park here. Or maybe you don't have to, but I remember at least I did. Alrighty. Yeah, genius. You gotta get in the other door. Okay, sounds like a plan, Steely Dan. For some reason, I always love missions that revolve around the theme of, like, bank heist and stuff like that. Most Grand Theft Autos have, like, a really intricate bank heist mission, like Vice City has the Malibu Club one. Um, San Andreas, you rob Caligula's Casino, I think. In Grand Theft Auto 4, you do Three Leaf Clover, or is it No Leaf Clover? I forget the name of the mission, but anyway. Alright, come on guys, get in and out. Okay, I heard someone get shot. Crap, did the other guys die or something? Let me get us out. Where, where are the other two guys? Oh shit. Oh great. Um, I did not realize the cops would be on me that quickly. And this is our first three-star wad level of the game. Okay, so... 
Oh god. Three-star wand levels are a little more tough. With a three-star wand level, you have police blockades, as you guys might have just saw. Um, luckily, there's a wanted bribe not too far from the, the bank heist area, so... Able to bump that down to two stars, but normally a three-star wand level, you have police blockades. Um, really, really active AI pursuing you. Oh, I guess that makes sense. We have to lose the cops before we take him back home. Duh. But, um, with a three-star wand level, you also have a police helicopter pursuing you. So, that's when it kind of gets a little bit more difficult to evade police action. Two-star and below isn't too bad, but, um, once you get up into three stars, you gotta watch your back. So, where's the pain spray? I don't see it on my mini-map. Normally, there's a little icon. Um, well, what the heck? There's no map? Wait, I'm trying to press the start button on my controller to bring up the map. Why is this not working? Oh my god, I finally found the damn thing. Okay, so I learned something new, guys. Grand Theft Auto 3 does not have a map that you can use. I don't mean like the mini-map in the core of the screen, I mean like a main map, like in Vice City, in San Andreas, in I think every other Grand Theft Auto since 3, they've had a map that you could pull up and like set a marker on and that you could use to find things around the city. Does Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PC not have a map, or is it all versions of Grand Theft Auto 3? Or is my version just glitched or something? Or am I doing something wrong? But anyway, that was really hard to find. I might just have to cut that out because I spent a good five or six minutes looking for that damn pain spray. Okay, well, $10,000, I guess I can't complain, but that is really disturbing news. I didn't realize this game didn't have a map. That's actually going to make things a lot more difficult, I imagine. But anyway, besides all that going on, we got through the mission okay, and I think now is a good time to end off the episode. I'm actually way over time because of getting lost and all that shenanigans. But um, it was a whole lot of fun, guys, so thank you for checking the video out. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and by subscribing to me, you can stay updated anytime I post new videos to my channel. But otherwise, guys, thanks for joining me here today, and until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!